Hi everybody! Welcome to part two of my whole perfume collection. So my name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format. Um, so if you like perfume and also if you enjoy ASMR, you're in a good place for our video today. And also, I can make you a creative custom ASMR video, so check the link in my description for more information. So like I said, this is part two of um, my entire perfume collection. Hopefully I will remember to link part one up here, I think. <laughs> um, and there will be a part three coming out. So. What I'm going to do next is we're going to cut to a clip that I included in my last video, the part one video, and it's just going to show you my entire fragrance collection, like the actual bottles and on the shelves, and so if you already watched that and you don't want to watch it again, you can just skip to the next part of me sitting here. Okay, so here is my full collection. Um, it's, I've got two sides to it. Here is one side. It's, let's see, one, two, three, four shelves. Um, and the bottom shelf here, this is just like samples. This is, somebody made this on Etsy. They make, it's to hold sample, like little sample vials. Um, you could put other cosmetics in it, but isn't that so cool? Yeah, check out Etsy. Anyway, so... There's that, and then here is the other shelves. One, two, three, four, five. So I think I counted, and I think that I have 95 bottles right now, um, which is a lot. That's kind of crazy. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna st I'm gonna break this up into three videos, and I'm gonna start with these fragrances. These, this shelf here is like my more kind of heavier, maybe more like fall, winter type scents. And then this second shelf here, this is m what I would classify as like my sweet scents. Like I definitely have other sweet scents that are on different shelves, but these ones are like, I just feel are like pretty sweet. Third shelf here, this is like more musky powdery scents. Um, these ones tend to be a little sweeter and more feminine. And then this one, these are also musky scents, but they're kind of more like unisex and maybe just a little bit more clean. Um, not like floral, sweet, powdery, but like just a little more musky. So that's those. And I'm going to go through the first three in the first video. Second uh, second three in the second video, and these three in the last video. Okay, and then this shelf here, this one is like, um, florals, and this is florals that are, I don't know, maybe florals that are a little bit something other than just like straight up bright florals, and then these, these are florals, my second shelf here, but they're more so like bright, delicate florals, like kind of like your wedding type scents on this shelf. Um, this shelf here, this is kind of like my green, green type scents, as you can see quite a bit of green. Green and also like some citrus. Um, this shelf here is like marine, very marine kind of maybe like ozonic. And then lastly, this shelf here is like my tropical scents. Like you can just tell by color, can't you? Like, you know, so these ones are like kind of orangey red. These ones are like blue, green. But anyway, yeah, so that's kind of how I organize my fragrances. And yeah, so I'll start off with these first three and um, see you all soon. One other thing that I just wanted to say is that I have only been collecting fragrances since about two years ago. I kind of got into it during the pandemic, so it's definitely a newer hobby for me and my nose and like experience with scent is continuing to 
evolve quite a bit so these are just the fragrances that I have now that I'm really drawn to and I know that if I keep collecting fragrances it's going to change my taste is going to change and yeah so it's gonna be a journey and hopefully in another several months I can um, film another updated collection and you can see what's in my collection along the way as I keep growing okay I'm back so you just saw my entire fragrance collection on the shelves so today the three shelves that we are going to be looking at are the um, rest of my musky fragrances, which I'll start with. And these ones here are kind of more like unisex, clean, maybe almost a little aromatic type musks. Um, <clears throat> and then the next shelf we're going to be looking at, well, the next two are florals. So yeah, we will start with the musks. And actually... This shelf, this first shelf that I'm starting with is kind of like half a shelf because the other half is taken up by this little sample holder, which I absolutely love. Um, so like I said, I, um, I bought this on Etsy and as you can hopefully see, it's got a bunch of little, just a bunch of little holes to hold sample vials. So it's amazing. It was custom made by somebody on Etsy who I think has some sort of 3D printer or something. I think I had them custom make this one like just a little bit shorter so it would fit in my vanity. I don't actually keep it in my vanity now but at the time I did. So yeah, and at one point I had this full of samples. The reason that I only have like a few random samples in it now is because there was one time where I was getting so many samples that I felt like I was always using samples and I was never using my collection. So I try to just like only put a few in there and like occasionally reach for them if there's something that's, you know, catching my eye. But anyway, if you're interested in whoever made this, I can look through my Etsy, just message me in the video and I'll send you a link, but I totally don't remember the name of the shop right now. Okay, so the rest of that shelf, we'll start off with this one. So this is Banana Republic and it's called 90 Pure White. Very clean, modern looking bottle, kind of unisex, maybe almost even more masculine looking. Um, so yeah, I like the bottle um, and this fragrance has such a beautiful, clean, musky, very, very light scent. Um, it is mainly musk and citrus. There's also a tea note. Um, and I think it, yeah, I forget all the notes, but it has a very light, like ambery, kind of musky, clean citrus scent. You have to spray quite a bit. It's definitely one of those ones that's great for the office or if you just want to smell minimal or maybe like on a hot day where you still want kind of a like a musky cozy scent that's not too like fresh but is also pretty subtle. So that is Banana Republic 90 Pure White. Okay and then I've got this little mini travel spray. This is Chanel um, 1957 and um, it's, it's perfect because the <laughs> this is like 10 milliliters and the full size bottle I know would be very very expensive and I absolutely love, mm, I love this fragrance. It's very clean. I believe it has some aldehydes in it. It's got a lot of musk. It's got some iris. And it's got some other kind of aromatic touches to it. I think like coriander seed. Um, so it's very clean, unisex. Um, my only problem with it is that it does not last. Oops, sorry. It does not last long. It has really poor 
longevity um, and I don't really mind that much when fragrances don't have the best longevity um, because I work from home so I can respray all the time but this one's so expensive so that's kind of why it's frustrating because when you pay a lot you, you kind of hope it'll last longer but it is really really beautiful so when this runs out I'm not sure if I'll repurchase or not I'll just have to see how much I want it or you know feel like it would be worth it Okay, so that's Chanel 1957. Okay, next, this is, I really love this bottle. This is by the brand Lake and Sky, and it's called 1111. Sorry, I like never know where to hold the bottle because um, I'm, I'm just filming on my camera, so I'm like always guessing. So I hope you're able to see the, <laughs> the main parts. But anyway, yeah, this is, um, this is a very musky, ambery musky fragrance. So it's kind of like an airy, it has ozonic notes, which kind of like lighten up the musky amber. So I think the notes, I think the only notes are ozonic notes, amber wood, and musk. I think those are the notes. So it's very clean, very sophisticated, could be great for the office, totally unisex. Um, yeah, just, it kind of gives me an atmospheric vibe and I love scents like that that don't smell necessarily like a perfume but almost smell like an, an atmosphere or an environment so yeah so that is 11 11 by lake and sky okay a lot of these were in my unisex fragrances video that i put out just a couple weeks ago um here's another one that i love this is called uh ambre blanc and this is by the brand Maison Rabatchi. I like how they put the perfumers on their bottles. So this one's Natalie Feist Tower. Really nice, good quality bottle. Um, this scent is really, really stunning to me. I don't really hear anybody talk about this one. But this one is like a... So ambre blanc means white amber and it does kind of smell like a white, very white, clean amber, like touch spicy and aromatic. There is a note of, what is it called? It's not jasmine, but it's ohidion. It smells kind of like jasmine, it's a white floral, but I wouldn't say this is too floral. Honestly, it's like kind of a lightly, very lightly spicy, airy amber touch aromatic. Yeah, I really, really like it. And my, my fiance complimented me when I wore this, so he likes it too. I don't know if he just compliments me randomly or if it actually means something when he compliments me. I don't know. But sometime I might have him on the channel. Um, and like, that would be kind of fun to get his take on some of my fragrances. Okay, so next, um, this one is by the brand Clean Beauty Collective, and this is from their Clean Classic line. There's also the C Clean Reserve line, but this is just the Clean Classic line, and this one is called Clean Warm Cashmere. I actually wanted to start off with this one, because this is just Clean Cashmere, but whoops. So anyway, this one's the Clean Warm Cashmere. So, um, this fragrance is, has been compared to Bayredo's Bal d'Afrique, which, um, I have smelled before, but I haven't smelled in a while. But anyway, it's musky, it's got some citrus, this one has a note as well of, um, black currant. So yeah, it's just very pleasing. Again, unisex, I would say. Um, a little bit woody. I think there's also a vetiver note, which I think is also in Bal de Frique by Bayredo. So yeah, I just feel like this could be a great everyday scent. Good for the office, just pretty inoffensive. I don't feel like this would be headache inducing for anybody. So that is by Clean, and this is Warm Cashmere. 
and then I'm not sure actually if this one was released first I kind of think it probably was but this is just the clean cashmere and honestly neither of these smell like uber cashmere to me but they're I would say they're more so musky so this one clean um clean cashmere this one is way more clean smelling it's way more soapy like it almost smells like it has aldehydes in it it smells very like fresh clean laundry I think there's a lavender note in here so it's kind of like calming and soothing and almost cool tone um and musky yeah so I feel like this would be great for all I feel like this would be great for all seasons because it's kind of cozy but it's also kind of cooling so I feel like for the summer it could work too okay so that is clean cashmere I honestly really like this brand I don't know if y'all really have much from this brand but I actually have I think I have four perfumes from this brand so actually this might be the fragrance house that I have the most fragrances of I wouldn't necessarily like say it's my favorite fragrance brand but I don't know that I have a favorite brand but according to my collection this might be my favorite because I think I have four okay next um this is oh it's so it's so dirty <laughs> this is by Sarah Jessica Parker and this is called lovely um, I kind of like the bottle. I mean, the top is plastic, but this fragrance is so inexpensive. It's like literally, I think you could find this for like $8 at stores like Ross or TJ Maxx. This is just the 30 ml size, so it's pretty small. Um, so this fragrance, oh my gosh. So this fragrance is musky. It's a little bit aromatic. It's got a lavender note. It's got some citrus. I think it's got some florals. If you've ever smelled Narciso Rodriguez for her Eau de Toilette, this is very similar. Also similar to the Narciso Rodriguez for her Eau de Parfum. Those two are similar, very similar. Um, so yeah, it's hard to explain, but it's just very... It's just very pleasing. It's kind of cozy, pleasing, warm. It's like a little warm, musky hug. It's definitely not what you'd ex not what you'd expect of a celebrity fragrance. It smells fairly luxurious and like just not your typical like fruity, sweet, floral type celebrity fragrance. So, Sarah Jessica Parker, lovely. Okay, so we are moving on to the second shelf for this video, which is showing three of my shelves. So this shelf, I would say this is all floral dominant fragrances, but these are the sorts of florals that are maybe less of your kind of floral bouquet, if that makes sense. Like they're either florals that are maybe like more woody, powdery, um, something other than like kind of like your jasmine rose floral bouquet heady type florals i don't know i had to organize them in some way so this is just what i did but anyway so we'll start off first with um this is a scent that i absolutely love and i really do like the bottle i bet some people really don't like this bottle but I actually really love it. So this is Issey Miyake and this is called a Drop Dissy and I don't like that the bottle doesn't stand though. It has to sit <laughs> but um, but I do like the look of it a lot and I like the taps that this top part makes. So anyway I love love the scent of this fragrance. It's a, it's a powdery almond lilac, um, so it's got lilac, but it's not like, it's not super strong lilac, and I always want to like lilac, but I don't always love it in fragrances, but anyway, it's got also almond, and I think heliotrope, and then it's got, I feel like it has some sort of lactonic note, like, I don't know if it's, 
Oh, that's what it was. It's almond milk. It's got an almond milk note. So it's kind of like a creamy like ton tonic almond powdery lightly sweet floral. It's also got what's called solar notes. So it's kind of got this like it's almost a little, I would say it's a little synthetic smelling, but like I don't mind. I wore this just like two or three days ago and I enjoyed it more than ever before. Like it's funny how my nose just continues to evolve. But anyway, so when I wore this the other day, I loved it and it had really good longevity and projection. I could just smell it on myself the whole day. So that is Isimeaki Atrapdese. And then I have one of the flankers as well, which is a smaller one, 30 ml. This one is a drop de say au fresh. I also really like the look of this one. I like the color. I think it's really cute. So this one is, I think again, this one was, I can't really smell it because I haven't sprayed it in a little bit, but Again, I think this one was a lilac one, but I don't, I don't know that I get as much lilac, um, but this one had like aquatic type notes, it had rain notes, but it's not like super petrichor, you know how some rain notes are very like petrichor, kind of like rain on the earth, a mineral vibe, it's not really that, it's just like aquatic and a bit like musky woody, there's like some interesting woody notes like dream wood is one of the notes which is a synthetic note um it's definitely sweet again this one does not smell natural it smells very synthetic but i kind of i enjoy it so yeah i really like this one is the isimiyaki lotus uh no what is this called a drop to say oh fresh there's a third flanker it's called uh, i don't remember what's called i think it's a drop to say essential and I haven't tried that one but I would like to okay next this is a bottle of it's from the perfumer Badgly Mitchka I'm not sure if I'm saying that right and it's called Poppy Poppy and um I got this at Ross for ten dollars and um so this smells exactly, almost exactly to me, like Flower by Kenzo, which has been out since like 2000, I think. So you get a lot of sort of, um, what am I trying to say? Violet. I feel like you get a lot of violet. It's like a powdery, a powdery floral, kind of baby powdery. This has completely different notes than Kenzo's Flower but they smell so similar and honestly the only reason I'm hanging on to this is because I love Flower by Kenzo but I really would prefer to have Flower by Kenzo because one, I feel like this is kind of a dupe and I'd rather just have the original but two, I'm just not crazy about the bottle I just don't really love the look of it and it's also too big for my taste because I've got so many fragrances that I don't need like big bottles and the flower Kenzo flower bottle is like very thin and so it will fit on my shelf very nicely without taking up as much room but this one is way cheaper than Kenzo flower and it smells very similar very nice very like sexy rounded out powdery floral scent okay next this is I think this is my only Gucci scent this is Gucci Bamboo, and this is the Eau de Parfum. There's also an Eau de Toilette. As you can see, the top's supposed to kind of look like bamboo. Um, and it's got kind of like an ambery liquid. And um, what to say about this fragrance? So, this fragrance does smell like bamboo to me, but the funny thing is, is there's no bamboo note. I don't know why they didn't just put a bamboo note when it does actually smell like bamboo and it's called bamboo. But anyway, it's kind of like a citrusy floral woody. Very fresh, a little bit green, almost like a green woody bamboo. Um, I think it has... I think it has bergamot and then I for, 
I forget what the florals are, but I think it's mostly white florals, like maybe jasmine. And then it's got like an ambery woody base, but it's kind of like lighter ambery woody. And I really feel like there should be a bamboo note in here. Like, <laughs> it frustrates me because it does smell like bamboo to me. So I love this fragrance. The only thing that I don't like is that this, I, f I mean, I'm going to try this one more time just to like make sure I'm not crazy, but I feel like this has honestly absolutely terrible longevity. Like I, I sprayed it like 10 times on myself and literally like half an hour later it was like already mostly gone or so. So I don't know. Maybe that was just me that day, but I work from home so I can respray whenever I need, but still that's this pretty, pretty abysmal. Okay, next. This is another celebrity scent that I absolutely love. This is called Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. I don't love the... I don't love the bottle. I mean, I usually like opaque white bottles, but I think the writing and the plastic top is not my favorite. But again, it's so affordable that I can't really complain. Anyway, this is a flinker to Jessica Simpson's Fancy, which was a very, it still is a very popular celebrity fragrance. It's like a caramel, slightly fruity, sweet fragrance. This one, Fancy Love, is definitely different. It's like a dream. This is very, this is heavenly to me. This is a fluffy, soft, floral, musky, heavenly dream. It has a champagne note. It has like a, what is it? It's something like peach blossom or something really, cherry blossom. I don't know. Um, it's, I feel like it's got some musk in there. It's just fluffy. It's like a cloud. Yeah, it's almost a little bit like effervescent because of the champagne note. I'm just saying, give it a try if you're open to blind buying something that's like, I feel like this was like $8 at Ross, so I don't, I wouldn't recommend blind buying, but when it's like $8, it's just like, so anyway, check it out on Fragrantica at first, and if you seem interested, then you can blind buy it. So that is Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. Okay, next... This is Balenciaga Paris. This is just their signature. So it's just called Balenciaga Paris. I really enjoy the bottle. It has this kind of cathedral-y look. I love the colors. Um, so this fragrance, this is one of my only fragrances that is dominant in um, uh, violet. I would say this one smells violet-y too, but I don't know that that's actually listed as a note. But this is a dominant violet scent, so it's got that powdery violet floral. And then I think it's also got, um, might be patchouli, and it's got like carnation, and like, I forget the other notes, but it's got like another kind of earthy note, I believe. So it's kind of a mix of like feminine powdery floral, but also a bit unisex because it just kind of comes across as, across as very like earthy natural. To me, this smells pretty luxury. Like I feel like it smells like just higher class and the bottle certainly looks that way too. So yeah, this is Balenciaga Paris. Right. Okay, next. This one is new to my collection and it's just a mini. This is a Jo Malone mini. I love the Jo Malone minis half sprays. So if any brands want to do as Jo Malone does and make their minis sprayable, I would love that and I would totally go for those. But anyway, um, this one I might not keep in my collection, um, but I just put it here for the time being. Anyway, nectarine, blossom, and honey. It does smell like a very realistic nectarine. 
I guess it's the nectarine blossom, but it really just smells fruity to me, but in a very light, very light, bright way. And I guess there's a honey note in here, but it's not like a heavy cloying honey. It's definitely like if you did, if I didn't know there was honey, I would just think this was mostly like nectarine. So yeah, really pretty. Feels like something you could like put on out of the shower. I don't know how the longevity is on this, but I have a feeling it might not be great. It just seems like it might not be. So anyway, I'll wear this more and yeah, get back to you at some point maybe on my thoughts on it. Okay, and then here's another kind of like mini travel. This is a decant from the brand uh, Scentbird. And as you can see, this one is called La Vanilla Pure Vanilla. And this is where it sprays out of. And um, so I only, I had heard of La Vanilla as a deodorant company because I know that they make natural deodorants. I didn't know they made perfumes, but I heard about this one from the YouTuber Sarah Mays, who does perfume reviews. And um, she really raved about this one, so... I really do love this one. This is a floral vanilla. So it is very vanilla, but it's also very floral. It's very luxurious. It's very dense. It's like, I think mostly white floral. So it's like dense vanilla, but also white floral. And honestly, I really love vanilla, but I tend to love it with other things as well. Like either florals or something powdery or maybe something aromatic. So... This one is one of those that's very luxurious, almost smells like white chocolatey or something. Yeah. So that is Pure Vanilla by La Vanilla. Okay, next. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. This is by the brand Cartier. And um, this is called La Pinter. Leger. So this is a flanker to the original La Penter, and this is the flanker that's called Leger, which means lighter or whiteness um, in French. So I love the bottle. It's um, a, the face of a panther. Really beautiful. And you take off the top and that's how that sprays. So I absolutely love the bottle. This fragrance is, it smells a bit like, it definitely smells a bit like the original La Pentere. So it has oak moss, it has dried fruits, it's got a couple other fruity notes, I think, like strawberry. And then it has a very prominent um, gardenia and I think also tiare flower notes. So some very light, dreamy white florals. This also has an aldehydes note. So it's, it's a very lightened up, but still kind of like mm, mossy, mossy fragrance. So yeah, probably not one that everybody would love, but I really, I really like this one. I mean, I just love oak moss, so I get excited whenever I see a fragrance with oak moss in it. So that is Cartier La Pentere Légère. Okay. Next, this is, I think this is my only Dior fragrance. So this is by Dior, and as you can see, this is called Joy. Um, this fragrance is really, mm, I think it's really just beautiful. Kind of sophisticated, but in a modern way. Um, it's powdery, it's lightly sweetened. Powdery. It's got some citrus. It's got some florals. It's got some like definitely very like powdery, dry, woody feel to it. Like powdery wood, like wood powder, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I think that I've heard that this smells a lot like Chanel's Allure, which I've never smelled, but I heard that this smells very similar. So yeah, I, anyway, I don't know that one, but I do know this one, and I really like it. Joy by Dior. Okay, and then the last one on this shelf. This is by Abercrombie & Fitch, and this is First Instinct 
sheer. As you can see, it's in this like half dome bottle and it's kind of like a gold, gold yellow theme. Um, so I have smelled the first instinct as well as the first instinct blue. And then this is the first instinct sheer. Um, this one's growing on me. It's mostly orange blossom, but it's not like a hyper sweet orange blossom. I really do not like super sweet orange blossoms. I just feel like I can't do them. So this is not like a candied orange blossom, but you get a lot of orange blossom. It's moderately sweet. And then it has a mountain air accord, which gives it, I feel just a touch of like something, the slightest bit mineral, damp, ozonic almost. And then I think there's like a bergamot note and maybe some other white florals. But I most like this to me is just like an orange blossom scent, but I do like it. I mean, I like it enough to keep in my collection for now. I feel like I only have one other orange blossom. Yeah, I only have one other orange blossom scent, which I will show you on the next shelf. Um, I mean, I have scents with orange blossom, but like very dominantly, I think this, this one and one other is all I have. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the second shelf. Okay, everybody, I am back with the third and final shelf that we are going over today. And then stay tuned for part three of this video series where I will go through the three last shelves. So this shelf, this is more what I was saying earlier. These are florals, but more of the kind of stereotypical bouquet type florals, kind of more so bridal scents. And it's very likely that I'm getting married in two weeks, probably sooner once these videos come out, maybe like literally that day when this video comes out. But um, it's very likely I'll choose one of these as my bridal scent. So first. This is by the brand Calvin Klein, and this is Eternity, a moment. I don't love the top, but I do, I like the bottle enough. Um, just like a pink liquid, very basic bottle. So this fragrance is so pretty. This is so pretty, you, but you have to like florals because it's for sure a floral scent. It's got a little bit of fruitiness, but it's a very light, watery fruitiness. I think it's like lychee and like mm, some other watery florals, I can't, or watery fruits. I can't remember what. Did I say fruits or florals? I'm trying to say that it has watery fruits and florals. So it's got peony, that's the main floral that it has, and then I think it has like lychee or guava or something like that. Um, just a really gorgeous lush peony. That's what it is. It's a lush dewdroppy dew sort of peony. Okay, so that is Eternity Moment by Calvin Klein. Next, this is a, let's see, this is Burberry Body. And the flanker is called Tender. So the original Burberry body, I actually have a sample of on the back here because one day I'm going to do a review of this if it actually ever happens. But anyway, that way I can like talk about the original as well. So Burberry Body Tender, this fragrance is... Hmm, it's a very fresh, slightly green, almost kind of tart rose. It has a note of, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I think it's called like, actually I think it's just called wormwood. I think it has a note of wormwood in it or something like that. So it's kind of like, a, it's got like a green herby little bite to it and then it's got rose and I think it has some lighter aquatic type fruity notes like peach maybe. But it's mostly like a slightly green aromatic rose. That's what I get. So yeah, I gotta wear this sometime soon. I haven't worn it in a long time. Burberry Body Tender. So right now we're kind of going through my rose scents. I kind of put them all together. Next. 
This is by the brand Givenchy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Givenchy, Givenchy. And this is very irresistible eau de toilette. So there's like a very irresistible eau de parfum and there's a couple other flankers, I think. This one's the eau de toilette. So this fragrance is, that's another rose fa fragrance. It's a very sexy, clean rose, but it's kind of clean, but it's also kind of warmed up because it has a star anise note. So it almost has like a, just a slightly licorice-y twang, and normally I'm really not one to like, like an, a licorice or an anise note in fragrances, but in this one it just works for me so well. It really works. This also has a verbena note, like I think lemon verbena is what that is, and that's part of what gives it that like freshness. So it's like a fresh but kind of warm, lightly, softly, spicy, sexy rose. I'm thinking I might wear this to my wedding. Like I'm still undecided, but I feel like this one might make the cut. We'll see. Okay, next, here's another rose scent. So this is Chloe, and this is the Eau de Toilette 2015 version. There was like a 2009, I think, Eau de Toilette version. This one's 2015. Unfortunately, these Chloe bottles are made with genuine, like, what is it called? Sterling silver. So they tarnish. This so it looks all off. It used to look, you know, oh sorry. It used to look just silver. But anyway, um, still a very beautiful bottle. I just wish that it didn't tarnish. But yeah, um, this scent is a very, very fresh, dewy, watery rose. Just very, um, so pretty. You got a little bit of citrus notes in here as well. There's a, I think it's like a cotton flower note, so it's like kind of soft and also watery. It's a beautiful like spring rose, so pretty. This would also be a great scent to get married in. So that is Chloe Eau de Toilette 2015 version. Um, next... This is a little bottle of Chanel Chance Eau Tendre Eau Tendre And this is the Eau de Parfum So mostly when people talk about Chance Eau Tendre They're talking about the Eau de Toilette um, You can tell this is the Eau de Parfum because it has a metal cap So this one does smell a bit different than the Eau de Toilette The Eau de Toilette is much more fresh, citrusy, showery this one, mm, this one's so pretty. This is soft rose. It's more floral to me. It's softer floral. It has quince in it, so it's got rose, quince. I think it's got a grapefruit note. I think it's got some musk in the base. It's very soft, very sophisticated, very womanly, elegant. You have to spray quite a bit. It's very delicate and is close to the body very beautiful. So that is Chanel uh, Chance Eau Tendre. really like the bottles for these ones. I just love anything circular. Okay, next I've got a couple travel sprays here. This one is a scent bird decant of Parfum de Marley de Lina La Rose. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of Parfum de Marly de Lina. Um, it's a little bit like the rhubarb note and all of it. It's just a little too much for me. This one has a touch of that rhubarb note, even though it's not listed as the notes, but it's got a touch of that bitterness, but it's less and it's much more fresh. So this is like a very fresh watery rose. It's got watery notes. It's got lychee, um, and rose, so I don't know if I'll keep this in my collection forever. I might resell this little sample on my Mercari. We'll see, but I like it. 
next, I just received this in the mail, like, literally yesterday. This is a travel size. I think it's just, like, 7 milliliters of Bond Number no. 9 Nolita. I used to have a bottle of this, but I sold it because it was really expensive and I wasn't sure if I loved it enough to keep the bottle, but I think I do really like this. I mean, it's been a while, months now since I've worn this, but I'll wear it soon. It's very, um, hmm, it's so nice. It's, it's kind of equal parts, like, um, citrus, floral, musk to me. So you have freesia, that's the main floral I get. I love freesia. And then you have tangerine, and I love tangerine. And then you have, like, some musk in the base, and I think maybe, like, sandalwood. And there's some other notes as well, but I can't remember. So it's it's pretty, like, to me this is, like, pretty hyper femme, floral, bright, sh a little bit sharp, but also a little bit musky. So, yeah, I just think it's really pretty and fun. Great for, like, spring and summer, I would say. Bond number nine, Nolita. Okay, and then next... So this is a bottle of Moschino Glamour. It's kind of in this, like, I think it's supposed to look like a heart. It's got this red top. I actually really like the bottle. I find it very fun. Um, and I love this fragrance so much. I think it is discontinued, but this is a very light, white floral with a touch of salt. So, yeah, it's got like a nectarine blossom note, and like, I forget what the other florals are. Oh, hibiscus, I think. And then it has a salt note, so it's almost a touch, like, tropical, but it doesn't have any, like, dense fruity notes or coconut or anything like that. Um, mm. It's just so pretty. This is another, this is one of the other ones I might wear for my wedding. Yeah, very clean. Yeah, very clean. Um, feminine floral scent. Moschino Glamour. Okay, this is another Jo Malone Mini. This one is English Pear and Freesia. It's just four milliliters, I think. These ones are so little. Um, no, nine milliliters, sorry. So anyway, this one I love. This one's very high-pitched, like very, a little bit screechy scratchy, but I, I like it. You get freesia, it's kind of like almost like a honeyed freesia. There's some patchouli in the base that comes through. Um, there's pear, of course, so that's kind of the three main things that I get. Pear, freesia, and patchouli. Yeah, I like this one. English pear and freesia. Okay, and then next. This is by the brand Oscar de la Renta, and this is called Bella Blanca. And I kind of like the bottle on this, like, I mean, I... I don't know that I love it, but I kind of like it. I, I kind of like this, like, epoxy plastic facade. Um, so this fragrance, this is a... Hmm, this is kind of like a creamy... Creamy white florals and some green nuances. There's actually green notes in here. So it smells kind of like a fresh bouquet of mostly white florals. Um, it's got, I think, some musk in the base, which kind of makes it smooth and not, like, too sharp. But it's very, like, springtime bouquet, very feminine. Another great bridal scent. I really want to try Bella Rosa, which is the same bottle but pink, and it's, I think that one's more of, like, a, a pink, rosy type scent. So I'll keep my eye out for that if I see it at, like, Ross. Okay, next, this is, this is a newer release, I think 2023.
This is by the brand Dolce & Gabbana and it's called Q, which I believe is supposed to stand for queen. So as you can see, there's this um, crown on the top. I actually really like this bottle. I find it fun. I find it pretty fun. Um, so this fragrance, um, it's red and it has a cherry note. And if you know me, you might have heard me say in my videos that I do not like cherry. I'm not a cherry gal at all, but this one works for me because it's a lighter kind of airy cherry, airy cherry, and um, it also has lemon and cedar. Those are the three kind of main notes in this, cherry, lemon, and cedar, and it just works for me, and there's some musk in here. It's kind of, it's pretty light. Yeah, it's pretty musky, airy, lightly fruity in a very fresh way. I feel like the lemon and cherry go really well together. I love it. I think this has gotten pretty bad reviews on Fragrantica, but I I really like it. Works well for me. So that is Dolce & Gabbana Q. Okay, and then this is, this is a pickup. Oh, this is another banana. I guess I have two Banana Republic since I picked this up from, I think, um, What's it called? TJ Maxx. Um, really cheap. I think $10. I like the bottle. <laughs> it does look modern. Um, so this is called Modern, and this is the for her version. They make a for him version. This is very... almost tart. It's not really sweet. It's almost tart. It's citrusy. It's got some floral notes. I love it. It's got a green apple note. I love it. I think it's so beautiful, clean, fresh, like definitely a freshie, like a spring, summer freshie. Um, yeah, more so tart, which honestly I love because there's so many sweet scents out there and I'm just not always wanting to smell sweet. So I love it. I definitely get like a green apple freshness from it really poor longevity, I'll say, but it's okay. It's super cheap. You can just keep spraying it. So that is Modern by Banana Republic. Okay, and then got another mini. This is um, Clinique Happy for her, and I think this is so cute. Look at this little mini. So cute. Um, so happy. This has been around forever. 2000 or something. I remember this when I was growing up. This is mostly orange and white florals. It's very fresh, happy, clean, floral. I think like freesia and some other white florals, like maybe lily of the valley. It's just happy. It just makes you happy to smell it. It really does. I like it. I don't know that everybody does, but I like this one a lot. It's so Clinique. Happy. And then the last one here of the video. This is by the brand Anna Sui, and this is called Secret Wish. So, as you can see, it's got like a like an eight is that an angel? No, a fairy. It's got like a fairy on the top, and then it's got like birds, and it has a purple liquid. So I don't know that I love the bottle, but it's kind of fun and different, very magical. Okay, so this this is a kind of I would say mostly citrus dominant scent to me. It has a note of tangerine. And I don't know if it has like some sort of like iced note or watery note, but it's like it feels like a cool, almost like iced note. I think this also might have freesia in it. Um, and honestly, I'm not remembering the other notes, but I think it's got some floral notes and I don't know what's in the base, but mostly what I get from this is a very bright, fresh, fresh, um, thirst quenching tangerine note, but it does smell kind of synthetic, like it doesn't smell the most realistic. Um, 
This is in the realm of Versace Bright Crystal, but I do think I prefer this one. Um, but yeah, it's that like very fresh, kind of icy orange, super fresh. So yeah, really fun. Anna Sui, Secret Wish. Okay, everybody, so finished up um, the part two of my fragrance collection, and I think, I think I'm going to try and film part three right now after that. I think I'm going to change my outfit, but I'm also getting hot. It's, it's probably like 85 outside and we don't have AC, so I'm getting hot, but I'm going to try and finish this up because I'm just feeling on a roll. So, I hope you all stick around and catch me hopefully one week later when I post the part three of this video. So I'm sending you all peace, love, harmony, and beauty, and I will catch you all again soon. Okay, bye.